All right, as a facilitator, one of the obvious things that you will have to do is engage with the students. You're going to have to talk to them. You're going to have to send them messages and so on. But luckily, Moodle has a number of messaging tools available for you to use. One of the obvious ones is to go to the participants list, have a look at who's in your particular class. Mine's tiny, but you might have numerous enrollments and select those that you are interested in communicating to and if necessary you can say select all and then you click on with selected users choose send the message a little dialog box jumps up and in here you can compose your message so you can craft a message for everyone in the class for example something like don't forget test tomorrow and then just send it out as a blanket message to everyone or you could craft something that's quite personal and a one-on-one -on -one. Um, you have the ability to identify just one person so then obviously your message would be appropriate in this case you can see that when I click on the blue button it will send this message to the three people I've identified besides the facility to send emails to everyone in the class there's also a little communication channel available within the Moodle platform. Uh, in this cold version of Moodle you can see that there is this little speech bubble at the top and that when you click in there you should see a list of all the messages that have been sent to you and uh, you'll have the ability to reply. Um, at the time of this recording though I didn't have any particular messages so I'm going to flick over to another version of Moodle. This is one where there's a lot of action going on and again if you look at the little speech bubble at the top you will see that we have quite a lot going on here. There's 148 messages for me here. Some of them have uh, sent messages more than once and I can click in there and I can see what we have said previously and I can reply back to the person using the little text editor at the bottom. Um, besides that I can also add people to my uh, contacts list. So if there are people I am um, regularly in contact with I can add them to my contact list you can see I've got a couple of people here and uh, I've got two requests two people waiting for me to say can they be in my contact list and the idea then is easier to find them however it is possible to also search so you can put in the person's name who you're looking for and um, then the search and it'll find the various uh, individuals. Same idea, select the individual that you want to talk to and then there's your little box at the bottom. That is an internal communication channel. Um, it doesn't send external emails. Um, it works simply within the Moodle environment and you have to be logged in to see it. And um, that's why you might want to trade the two off. Internal mechanism to keep contact with your participants, but then when they're not on the system, you might want to send them an email using the participants list.